the one big takeaway I had from those early investor discussions was that it wasn't um, good enough to say, I have two different hypotheses on monetization, and I will test them mm -hmm. when I get when I raise this money. I had to have already done some testing and have an initial sense of which one would I start with. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was not only to meet the investor's requirements, but also because I have limited time as a founder. Mm -hmm. And if I don't have already a sense of which monetization path is going to be the most successful, then I won't be able to spend my own effort effectively. Mm -hmm. um, so that was useful. After going through that process and hearing some of the same things from some people, I decided to change some of my deck, change how I was telling the story, put the team slide up front. Some of these things you can only learn when you're talking and getting real feedback. Mm -hmm. um, and then also kept hearing the need for more data on, on my users. So instead of just testing with what we initially tried was 20 users, we had to increase to 50 or 100 users to start mm -hmm. getting meaningful data about what was working. And after we did that, we spent another couple months doing that. Then we went out to raise money again. Um, and by that time, I was a little bit more successful in raising from, from angel investors and then eventually from a VC, 